Hello everyone, Faros here with a special kind of video today. This is going to be my first impressions and first look of the brand new MMORPG called Terra. Now, I haven't talked too much on my channel about this, but this is an MMO I've been waiting for for a very long time. It's what's called a true action MMO, so it's not a traditional MMO where you just have these abilities that you kind of, you know, face roll on your keyboard. Um, in this game, you aim your attacks, you can dodge roll attacks, you know, move out of the way. Uh, it's very action oriented, it's, it's like Twitch based, and um, it, it tries to add a, another element of skill into the MMO genre that we're not really used to, those people who have been playing MMOs for years and years like I have. So, uh, And the game looks absolutely beautiful. You see the graphics here are just stunning. Um, I was able to create my character, choose his face, uh, his hair, his facial features. There was little sliders so I could adjust things like his cheekbones, his nose, um, you know, his chin, how, how long his jaw was and things like that. So a huge element of characters characterization uh, if you guys want I could actually make a, a video on character creation later on but I just wanted to show you some of the gameplay now just so um you could kind of get used to what Terra is how it plays and uh, you know just what it's all about so it the leveling up so far I'm only level six but so far it is quest oriented the, you see the chat just buzzing there's people everywhere but um I'm gonna go ahead and run through a quest here with you guys so you see like the NPCs even have dialogue just like normal ass quest uh, NPCs which is really cool uh, you've got your quest text here I'm not gonna bother reading right now uh, just for the sake of uh, time and um, yeah it even zooms in when you're doing like a story quest uh, and story quests are noticed by there was a red question mark over this NPC rather than like a normal yellow one so um and you also see where my cursor is now on the map there's this uh there's a little, like your mini maps up here at the top right corner, but there's like a map on your screen, and I think you can toggle this off, but I kind of like it actually. It's pretty much the, it just shows you where you need to go for your quest and shows you all the towns and um, like major points of interest around. So uh, right now, since I didn't read the quest, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to kill, but I'm going to go own up something. And a mob had just spawned behind me. The spawns look cool. Mobs like teleport in. I might actually be talking to another NPC here, yeah. Um, there are your typical quests that are like, go talk to N this NPC, go do this, but um... I was just reading about someone like you. What really sets this game apart is... is its combat. And, and the graphics are absolutely amazing. This is probably the best looking MMO on the market right now. Uh, I, can't, I can't think of a better one. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up some quests here. Most of the time I have been reading them just because the, the story is not bad. And there's actually like some pretty crazy things going on with the story. But um, I'm going to go ahead and accept these just for time's sake like I said. And then get to killing some mobs. So you see when you accept a quest and there's mobs you have to kill. Like this group of mobs in front of me. Um, they all have little yellow exclamation marks around them, so that that lets me know that hey, these are for a quest. So what I'm do, what I'm gonna do is these these little groups of mobs, uh, they're kind of scrubby. They die really fast. I don't have my rage or my MP built up for my AOE attacks, but I'm just gonna go in and do some normal left click auto attacks. And I actually whipped one there, but you see, uh, my great sword. I I I'm actually playing the Slayer class, who's uh he's a melee combatant and he uses a giant two handed sword. And it like cleaves everything around him just from his auto attacks. So I could take these guys down with relative ease. Um, but I'm going to go fight this tree over here. And you guys will see this will be an interesting fight. So I'll be starting it off with a special ability. And it'll knock him back. Hopefully. Actually it whipped for some reason. And you see the tree like drew its arm back like it was going to do a power attack. And I can roll away. Uh, my class can roll. I'm not sure if all classes can roll. But I can do it. I'm going to roll again here. Um, by just hitting right click. And it cost... Um, it does have a timer, so you can't spam roll, and I believe it even cost uh, it even cost a marginal amount of MP. So I can like easily dodge this tree's very slow attacks by just um, you know whacking at him and then just rolling when he lifts up his arm or like goes into a little stance to attack me. And then uh, my character's pretty much a warrior. Now he doesn't he doesn't build up rage, but he builds up MP, like I said earlier, which is like a rage equivalent for this class anyway for other games. So now that I have my rage built up, I can use one of my AOE abilities, and you'll see me take out all these little guys at the same time for the most part. <laughs> and I can spin my camera, you know, while attacking, roll behind this mob, uh, catches his like little back dash, and I can keep hitting him. Uh, like I said, th this is the uh, like noob area. 
You know, I'm only level 6. Nothing too crazy is going on here or anything like that. I just remembered. I could have swore there was like a little gathering node. I should have talked about that, but I was busy talking about other things. And now it seems to be gone. So, another tree spawn here. I'll go ahead and fight him. Hopefully my knockback hits him this time. There we go. So I knocked him down, and then I can continue attacking him. And then when he gets back up, if he's not dead, yeah, my, my little ability I have there is very powerful. So uh, if I bother using it, um, it's going to screw <laughs> it's gonna screw up a mob pretty bad. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show off the combat because I think this is awesome. Just having the opportunity to roll around, dash around, try to dodge attacks. And, you, and your auto attacks are cool. They chain together. And this is, this is level 6 combat. Like level 6 combat in another MMO could just be spamming one ability and that's it like not to rag on any other MMOs but let's say you're playing a mage in another one you know you might just have fireball for the first like and for the first like maybe even 10 20 levels all you really do is fireball or frostbolt or you know like something of that equivalent but here you you can roll around you can dodge attacks you've got aoe attacks you've got um i didn't mean to swing at her you've got aoe attacks you've got single target attacks that knock down and this is all at level six level six like i'm i'm really impressed with the way this game looks and i'm really impressed with the way it plays so uh looking to what else i need to i need to kill some more of these tree guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do that Again, just as a slayer, I start off with this little... It, sometimes it doesn't knock down, though. Like, it's weird. I'm not... I don't have a full understanding of what the properties of my uh, little knockdown move are. And excuse me being a scrub. I This is literally, like, hour one for me in the game. So, <laughs> I just picked it up today. And I am just wanted to say, I've been an MMO fan forever. And this is one of the most impressive early Head Start launches I've seen in an MMO. And it's one of the most impressive MMOs I've played, period. You know, it's just, this this game, despite how good it looks, I'm almost on max settings, right? And it's a brand new MMO. The game looks amazing, and I'm still able to fraps with smooth FPS. This game is optimized near perfectly. Like, and again, not to rag on other MMOs, but this game looks far better than Star Wars did. And Star Wars ran like shit. And this game just runs... It runs, like, it's going to sound amazing, but it runs better than WoW does on my computer. And WoW is six, seven years old. And it's a very old game with very outdated graphics. And even in WoW, on max settings in, like, Orgrimmar or some equivalent, you can get little FPS stutters. But in this game, with fraps on, I'm not getting any. Like, I don't, the developers hilarious. must just be genius, but I don't, I don't know how they did it. The game runs amazing. I'll just leave it at that. It looks amazing. It runs amazing. It plays amazing. I just leveled up to level 7 on camera. Get hyped. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I might actually, um, I might actually wrap this video up here. If you guys would like to see more Terra, just my adventures in Terra, uh, if you would like to see some character customization, if you'd like to see the different classes, anything you'd like to see, um, leave it in the comments below. I am a big time Terra noob right now. Like I said, oh, I'm going to go gather this resource over here just to show you guys how this works so there is crafting in the game um there's there's so much in this game wow there's a lot of resources around you see these crystals uh it's sun essence i'm not exactly sure what profession this is used for but i didn't have to get any gathering skill or anything and my character looks so badass uh i even got an achievement for it there's an achievement system as well so tara uh showing its stuff here giving me stuff to talk about but um yeah so there's an achievement system there's a profession system, and I didn't have to go and train. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out this mob so I can um, gather this other node. But I didn't. Oh, that guy's gonna gank it from me, lame. But I didn't have to like train these. Oh, and the mob knocks me out of my power AOE attack there. But I didn't have to train these gathering professions. I haven't actually crafted anything yet. But um. It's cool that you can just run around and if you see something in the world, you can gather it. And then I assume there's going to be an auction house I can either sell that on or I can use it just for crafting of my own. So that is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys the game. It's amazing so far. Again, if you want anything uh, like really advanced, I can do my best to make you a video on it. But um, like I said, I am really newbie at the game. Day one, hour one. Faros, T, 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 playing some Terra. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you guys want to see some more, because I think I'm going to be playing this game a lot. And don't you worry, those of you who are my subs watching this, um, I'll be I'll be playing Soul Calibur 5. Nothing is ever going to impact my Soul Calibur 5 
uh, footage or progression. And I'm still going to be playing Diablo 3, like I said, as well. It's just uh, Terra is an MMO. It's an MMO. It does have a monthly feed, you guys. You have to pay a subscription to play it. But um, I like those MMOs. I like those games with subscription fees. And that might sound weird, but those kind of games have routine updates. They have like constant, you know, um, content patches, and I really enjoy having a game where I can, you know, log on and at my own rate, just work on my character, beef it up, maybe go do some PvP, and um, you know, build up my character and then show my stuff against other characters and experience the story, all the dungeons, all the instances. Uh, I haven't actually. Uh, Wow, I got kind of stuck in that mob there. I haven't actually read too much on what Terra has as far as instances, but um, I know it does have PvP. It's got guild versus guild PvP. It's got like duels, but the duels in this game own. They're like they're like team duels. You can you can have like two v two duels. You and a buddy, if you're like really legit, I've heard that like the two of you could even duel like five other guys. So you could duel like two v five, and that kind of shit is just awesome for a PvP. Or I've been saying WoW should have stuff like that forever. Cause when you get like, you get like a really beefed up character. Maybe you got some buddies who aren't so beefed up gear wise or even skill wise. You could be like, all right, yeah, I'll take you all three. I'll take you three on, and that would have been so cool if you could like duel three of your buddies, you know, in WoW. But they never added that feature in. But Terra's got it. So um, really hyped about that. I'm happy to see stuff like that in. There might be a lot of stuff I'm leaving out, and I apologize if I am. But I just wanted to get out this video as a quick uh, introduction video for the game to my channel and for anybody else out there just to see if people are interested and then um, want to see more videos in this. I would leave my server name for you guys here but I'm actually not sure how long I'm going to be playing on this server. I'll go ahead and say it anyway. Um, right now my character name is Faros and I'm on Dragonfall server. Thing is, it's a PVE server. I, I rolled on it, and I'm all I've every MMO I've played in. If it's had PVP servers, I've been there. Uh, this resource keeps spawning, so I guess I'll keep killing these quest mobs and gathering the resources while I talk. But um, yeah, I've always played on PVP servers. Wow, that thing did not get knocked back. But I had some friends on Facebook who were on this server, so I went ahead and rolled here just to hang out with them and get started in the game. But um, I might be transitioning into a PvP server very soon. So if you're interested in playing with me, that's fine. You know, you roll an alt here and we can hang out, maybe do some quests, uh, maybe like do some duels, whatever. Just get used to the game uh, and it'll be, it'll be fun. But um, yeah, yeah, I might be switching to a PvP server. My buddy Skullshade, those of you who have watched my Soul Calibur videos might know my friend Skullshade. Very good friend of mine, and him and his girlfriend will be getting the game uh, on Tuesday on the official release. I pre-ordered it, so I'm in the, the Head Start access, early access right now. But they'll be getting it on Tuesday, and then I think Tuesday, um, it'll be Tuesday, April, let me give you guys a date, because it'll be Tuesday, April 1st, is when I'll really know what server I'm on, and um, character name and stuff like that. So if you want to hang out with me... Before uh, April 1st, and you have early access of the game, feel free to stop by Dragonfall and add up Faros, and we'll hang out. But, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing more uh, video footage of Terra, then I'll have another video out um, by or on April 1st uh, announcing my permanent server and character name and things of the sort. So, going to go ahead and wrap it up for now. This game is so beautiful. Just, just look. Just look at the background, man. Like, and the sky, and... And my character and everything, dude. It looks so <laughs> sick. I'm so hyped. Terra's finally out. Whoa, look at this mob. All right, I gotta <laughs> look at this thing. I gotta fight this thing. I've never seen it before. You see it's, it's eye flash there. And that kind of um, signifies that it's going to do a uh, power attack and gives you, gives you like a Q to roll on. Um, let's see if it does it again here. So I thought this mob would be like a super badass rare mob or something. Uh, I didn't know if that howl was going to hit me, so you see me roll to the side. But uh, yeah, this this mob turned out to be kind of a chump. But again, th this is th it is the newbie area. I just wanted to fight it because it looked cool. Mobs in this game look so cool. Um, but I'm sure the difficulty in this game will progress, obviously, as you level up. And I can't wait to see how hard they make it. Uh, like, could you imagine really, really hard instances where you have to, like, roll or dodge attacks on a dime? Or it just, like, obliterates your HP? 
That'd be so cool. Like, huge bosses, fire coming at you, and instead of just, like, moving out of the fire, like in other MMOs, you gotta literally roll away from the fire, or, like, it's gonna smoke you in the face? That is hype! I'm so excited to see what this game has to offer, and, um, continue to progress in this game. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the first look. Um, I keep thinking of other things you might want to see. Just in case you're curious there is a uh, very lengthy options menu there's all these video settings that you can adjust with sliders so um if you're worried you have a low-end pc i'm i'm not sure how well it runs on low-end pcs my computer is pretty decent i got it late last year but um there is video settings that you can adjust so i'm sure it would run just fine because it literally runs flawlessly on mine there is a keybind setting so you can go through that. There is UI, UI settings where you can scale them. Um, I'm not sure if there's player-made mods. That's a big deal to some people. It's not really to me. But the interface is fine uh, as far as I'm concerned. The combat text and everything else is fine. So not something I'm exactly worried about. So there is a um, there is this, uh, very lengthy options menu you can fool around with if you're that's you know something that means something to you there is also an achievements menu which is awesome you see i've already gotten a couple achievements and i've already gotten some titles so there's cool stuff like that um your gear there is tons of gear slots why don't i have those equipped oh no oh no you can buy weapon crystals for your weapons which are like gems and um i had two gems equipped in my last sword and i accidentally vendored that sword so that sucks um yeah, because you can take the gems out and put them in your new weapons, and they give you things like chance to do bonus damage and stuff like that. Those are really cool. Uh, so tons of customization uh, available here through equipment. Uh, there's even like costuming, which I assume like puts... Uh, it's like transmog almost from World of Warcraft. So even if you have a weapon that looks one way, I assume you can get a weapon costume to put over that so it looks like something else that you you know really like more or something like that. There is weapon dye dyes, so you can dye the color of your equipment. Uh, what else is stuff I probably should have talked about? These are all things that you know some people uh, you know really want to know is in an MMO or not, and Terra has it all. I can't think of anything Terra doesn't have. So uh, if you're if you're worried if Terra has anything specific, you can leave it in the comments below, and um, I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Look at that, Terra's even got the attractive chicks, even though she's a little tall for my taste. But um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna peace out. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want to see some more Terra, and if you have any questions, and um, I'll, I'll do my best to answer and keep up on those. So. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, give it a favorite. And until next time, you guys, take care. Peace. Join the channel. Out.